Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for you, all people. You know, we oftentimes hear of Jesus' return. But I wonder, what do you think would happen then? Well, the first time, records say that the Jews could not accept Jesus as the Messiah. Uh, and, and one of the reasons given was that he did not appear as they had thought he would, and it had been prophesied that he would. So what happens this time if, it, if he appears to be different but required peace, required prosperity and freedom? And did not engage any magic to cause it to happen. Required happiness and joy. Required that you lived your dreams. What happens if Jesus demanded that every human have a job or a career that uh, they choose and it gives them their greatest satisfaction yes what if they are to prepare enough houses enough food and clothing enough education and health care enough infrastructure and transportation that there would be an abundance for every individual to Take from it as they need, as they want, as they desire. What would happen if Jesus required that? What if Jesus required such conduct amongst the people as necessary to eliminate fear and eliminate the haves versus the have-nots? Eliminate poverty, crime and violence. Eliminate lying and cheating and stealing and hating and racism and bigotry. Eliminate deception, terror and war. What would the people do if Jesus required this? What would you do? Well, in America, Donald Trump says that 95% of the Republicans would choose him over Jesus, just as the history books said in the past that they chose Bar Barabbas over Jesus. So the question still remains, what would the people do if Jesus returned? They still have a will. What would Americans do if Trump is re-elected and implements government of dictatorship? What would Americans do? Well, a greater percentage than you might imagine would move right on with the dictatorship, the new system. They're willing to suffer all that comes with it. If Jesus returned without force of power, such power that humans are threatened, Jesus would be as ignored as Eddie Marcus running for president of the United States. <clears throat> for Jesus to be accepted, listen to me good, by humans in power, let me repeat that, for Jesus to be accepted by humans in power, and that is required to get the minions to follow. In order for that to happen, natural disasters such as earthquakes, such as tornadoes, such as hurricanes and mudslides and floods and tsunamis and volcanic eruptions and sinkholes, all of this is required to strip humankind of its pride 
And then just maybe they would have the ability to accept a God. Because right now, as long as man can do anything, man will attempt to out God, God. So if Jesus returned today, a question still remains. What is required for you to accept Jesus? I ask that because truly, this is all that matters. Thank you.